This is all bittersweet. It's all climbing up itself. And look at how big they get. See that big, huge, fat one in the back? Like big as an arm. They look like a python going up a snake, uh, a tree when they get that big. So, and then that's what happens. Uh, and then they start competing for light. When the leaves come out, they cover up the tree. The tree eventually dies. Then you end up with like snow and ice loaded up on the whole mess and it crashes over. And you end up with this whole mess that we're going to see repeatedly as we walk. I mean, just look that way already. Yeah. You see it all up in there. And that's not, and they, th this didn't, this wasn't here, you know, like when Europeans came. What to notice on the bark on Bittersweet is it's quite silvery with a lot of lenisol like little eruptions, like little explosions. They kind of split from the inside, little, leaving little lenisol marks all over. And then even when they get giant, it's still a pretty lighter gray, not a lot of brown in it. You know, again, a silvery gray. This is an SPP. You only have to know the gene. Okay? SPP period. Now you probably have the sheet to Oriental. Right? Yeah. yeah. But you only have to know it as an SPP. There is an American bittersweet, which I've actually never even seen in this county. It's been all pushed out. And the last time I saw it was in an arboretum in Ohio, the native one. Everything I've seen and everything you're going to see today is the Asian one. But either way, you don't need to know that. You just need to know, oh, it's a bittersweet. So, Celastris SPP. This vine... And another one you'll get today is called a twining vine. And some some books, some keys, they'll the first question in a key with vines will be twining, aerial roots, or tendrils. And you answer tendrils when you go over here. So this one doesn't have any of those. Twining means they just twist around the object, sometimes strangle it, girdle it, the object that they're climbing. Okay. So right here we don't have any twisting going on, but right down here we do. It's twisting around itself. So it's a very, very stiff stem that basically reaches out and it'll land on something and then it'll start coiling it up like a snake going up it. It's alternate. The another one you're gonna I'm gonna do just in a second is opposite. I'm gonna do two of them right here. So this one is uh, alternate. Probably for you guys, the most conspicuous thing you're going to see are these fruits. They're bright red berries that have a yellow husk around them. The yellow husk pops into four pieces, but they stay on there. So they, the husks kind of peel back. They kind of make it look like a little dried flower with a red center and yellow petals. But that's the, that's the fruit. Okay.